Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about hitting, and uh, we're going to get into some more mental uh, things that we can do at the plate to make us a better hitter. So we're going to stay away from uh, the mechanics of the swing today and just go over some mental stuff that will really help us. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is actual velocity versus perceived velocity. Now, what this means is actual velocity is going to be what the radar gun reads from a pitcher. So you get behind the plate, um, guy throws the ball in, the radar gun is going to pick up on how fast the ball is moving, and that's pretty much it. Now, perceived velocity is a little bit different. Perceived velocity uh, is what the velocity feels like to the batter. And these can change in a type of, a couple of different ways. Um, if the pitcher's a bigger guy and takes a longer stride, well, the radar gun will read the same velocity of the ball. But if the pitcher is bigger and has a longer stride and releases the ball closer to the plate, although the gun might read the same whether he's throwing it or a shorter guy's throwing it, it actually is going to be a little bit faster perceived velocity-wise because he's going to be closer to the plate. Now, there's a few ways you can look at it. That's the first way. The second way is what we're going to talk about today. So I drew a chart right here, and if we look at it, basically what this is is a 90-mile-an-hour a 90 fastball right over the middle of the plate. So if you put a ball right down the middle of the plate from a guy throwing 90 miles an hour, this is what it's going to look like. Now, the reason that there's other numbers up there is basically because of this. When we get a pitch, and it's right down the middle, and it's 90 miles an hour, well, if you get a ball that is slightly in, about a ball and a half's width in to a right-handed batter, well, that ball is going to feel like 92 miles an hour. If we get it on the black, another ball and a half width, well, that's going to be 94 miles an hour. Now, these aren't readings that are going to show up in the, on the gun, but the reason that the velocity is increasing as you move towards a right-handed hitter's inside part of the plate is because the bat has to travel a longer distance to get there. So we know that when we hit an inside pitch, we have to hit the ball out more in front. And if we hit a ball on the outside corner, well, we let it get deeper and the bat doesn't have to travel as far. So that's why it increases two miles an hour for every ball and a half width that we get towards the inside part of the plate or our pull side. Now the same is the other way, only the exact opposite. If the ball gets away a ball and a half width, you can see that it's 88 miles an hour for a right-handed hitter. And if you take another ball and a half width to the outer black, you're gonna get 86 miles an hour. Once again, because the bat doesn't have to travel as far if you're hitting an outside pitch, you'll have more time to hit it. So therefore, perceived velocity is going to be 86 miles an hour. Now, this is really important to understand because, for one, we can deduce a couple things from this. The first thing is, this is why it's so difficult for hitters to not look for specific locations. It's very, very tough to cover an entire plate. If you're looking at an entire plate when you're up there and you're not focusing on a certain area, well, there's a possibility of an 8 mile an hour distance in speed. So you have a, a big gap here, 94 to 86. That's a big range that you have to hit. And 8 miles an hour is really, really tough to do. Instead, if you pick a part of the plate, let's say we pick middle in. Well, you've got 90 to 92 miles an hour. So you're focusing in on about a two mile an hour range, which is doable. Most very good hitters do this. They pick a part of the plate, depending on the count, the inning, the score, the situation, um, the pitcher. Also, what type of hitter you are. There's a lot of things that go into it. And the more you play and the more experience you have, well, then you'll start to realize how certain guys are going to work you, um, what the scouting report is on you as a hitter. Certain catchers that are behind the plate are going to attack you a certain way. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. But the most important thing to get out of it is 
you have to have a specific game plan and you can't be looking from black to black or from one part of the plate all the way over to the other part of the plate because it's too much velocity to try to keep up with. So what I have written here is focus slightly in. Now most hitters, not all hitters, but most hitters like the ball middle to slightly in. That's just the way a lot of hitters are programmed. Now you're going to find guys that hit the ball the other way very well, but the majority, if you went up to the majority of players and said, where do you like the ball? Most of them will say middle to slightly in. And this is the reason. Two miles an hour, easy to stay in that range, easy to get to. The further we move away from the middle and towards the corners, well, we get a bigger and bigger range. So try this next time you're hitting and really work on having a game plan when you go up there to the plate and understanding what you're trying to do. And now you know why it's so important to pick out a certain part of the plate that you're going up there and hitting with, either middle away, middle to slightly in. Stay in that meaty part of the plate. Stay away from the corners until, of course, we get two strikes. And then we're going to switch to looking away and then reacting into the fastball. That's our best bet with two strikes, but that's a topic for another day. So today I just want to talk about actual and perceived velocity, and um, I hope this helps you guys out. Give it a shot, see how it works, and uh, let me know. All right, thanks guys.